Tough questions tonight for the Nassau County Executive. With his wife in tow, Ed Mangano made his first public appearance since CBS2 broke the news. He was reportedly involved in a sexting scandal. CBS2's political reporter, Marsha Kramer, has more. Hello, all. He tried to appear jovial, but didn't stop the questions from me and lots of other reporters. When, Mr. Mangano, do you think yes. there should be an independent probe by either the district attorney or the FBI of your charges? Of being uh, I have no problem with the FBI, and uh, again, the, the police department's doing it. You know. What about Corinne That's getting it. two no-bid contracts? Was that appropriate? Again, I had nothing to do with that. General municipal law under 35,000. It's not a uh, competitive bid process. We in the county are under 25,000. The county executive appeared hearing in public for the first time five days after CBS2 broke the story that he ordered a police probe into whether he is the victim of a hacking scandal. X-rated text reportedly sent from his phone to several women, including local marketing executive Corinne Caro. You're an amazing guy. I follow you. I've been inspired by you. It's clear that Mangano and Corinne know each other, also that she got two no-bid contracts that were just under the cap for requiring more scrutiny. Mangano's appearance today at a drug summit where his wife Wife Linda played a prominent role. When he walked in, she gave him a wifely pat on the back, nothing more. I also asked the acting police commissioner, Thomas Crumpter, a Mangano appointee, if it was appropriate for his department to handle the probe. The county executive has uh, made an allegation, and at this point in time, the county executive is not the subject of the investigation. If any time he becomes subject of investigation, that investigation will be uh, referred to the appropriate agencies. It's somebody that's out there getting their jollies, taking down, you know, a public official, we're vulnerable, you're in the public spotlight, and this is some sick, warped individual. Well, later I asked the police commissioner how he felt about the FBI taking over the investigation. All I got was a terse no comment. Maurice Christine. Thank you for that update, Marcia. All right.